Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm here at Alien Artifacts on Second Life. Ironically, this is probably the first video I've ever done on Spirit Soul 1. Uh, I just did the, um, I just did the Artifact Models for this. Oh. Well, I didn't do an artifact model for this, but look at that circle. Isn't that interesting? Don't know what it means. Anyway, go over and take a look at this. I put this one down as kind of a, I believe it to be a hollow and somewhat rectangular. I'll break out a little drawing tool and... I believe it's hollow and dark in there, and there's something hanging on the side of it. I can't really tell what it is. It might be more like a pipe than anything else. Looking at it now, it's hard to say uh, to be sure. The resolution isn't that great. Definitely an artificial object. Saw it. And this, I ju just about jumped out of my seat the first time I saw it. Then we'll take a look at this other one, which is also quite interesting. There we have a rectangular, metallic, hollow object. Looks like it's been machined. I don't know if it fell off the rover or what, where it came from. Um, this is definitely artificial whatever it is, 100% probability of that. Uh, it's not questionable. So, there we have two definite artificial objects. A couple other things in this photo which look suspicious, but I didn't uh, make any artifact models for them. We'll zoom in a little bit. You gotta look at this thing because, well, well, it's not cooperating, which is nothing new for Second Life. But as you can see, that's clearly a manufactured object. Call that a rock, you gotta be out of your mind to call that a rock. You have to be clinically insane. Uh, which of course describes about half of these uh, NASA people. Uh, looks like it hangs on some... Uh, other object, I don't know what. I don't understand what it's hanging on, but it's actually up off the ground. Take a look at my model. My model uh, really isn't doesn't do it justice. There appears to be a like a bolt hole on the left side of it too. We'll take a look at my model before I go. This is an alien artifacts and uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Some Japanese name and some pronounceable. At any rate, here's my model for it. It's pretty close to what I think we have there. A small, hollow, manufactured, machined, metallic object. God only knows what exactly, it, you know, it is. I didn't put the bolt hole in it. 
but there you go. Uh, that's our object. Um, I'll show you the other one briefly. Works continuing in alien artifacts. I got a problem with one of the other systems, so I'm going to have to uh, do something with that. This is basically what I figure we're seeing there. It's a tough call. But I think this is a hollow object. Kind of prism-like, only it wouldn't be that sharp. It's much duller around the edges. Rounded. That's what I figure we're seeing. That'll about wrap it for this one. I have some uh, other work to do. I got a problem with my system. I got to fix that. But uh, basically, I think that's what we have here is just a couple artifacts. So Spirit got started right at, you know, right from the start, imaging alien artifacts and of course it's all denied and ignored from the first day spirit was imaging strange objects here too how objects present themselves one appears to be prism like but with rounded edges others metallic hollow and rectangular that's about the size of it I'm artifacts Mars thanks for watching and I'll keep working on this. Have a nice day.